Hello, everyone, and welcome to URM Cyber Essentials and Cyber Essentials Plus webinar. Uh, my name's Lauren, so I'm in the new business team here at URM, and I'm joined by Andre, who's one of our cybersecurity consultants. Thanks for joining us today. Um, and I can see we have a range of attendees, some existing clients and some new names. So I hope wherever you are in your cyber journey uh, that you can get some useful hints and tips from today's session. If anyone has any questions throughout, please feel free to type them in the box um, and we'll address as many as we can at the end. And failing that, um, we will ask you to complete a feedback form at the end. So feel free to put any questions in there and we can address them offline for you. So if we look at the agenda for today, uh, we're going to go into the what, whys and hows of Cyber Essentials and Cyber Essentials Plus. We'll be starting off with what. What is Cyber Essentials and Cyber Essentials Plus? What are the, the main differences between the two schemes? And we'll dive into what the control areas are as well. And we'll also include uh, the costs. Then we'll look at why. Why should businesses be looking to achieve Cyber Essentials and Cyber Essentials Plus? And then we'll go into the hows. You know, how do you go about um, certifying to the schemes? I'll just give a brief introduction to URM. Um, so we've been providing consultancy and training for 15 plus years now, and we take a holistic approach whereby we can offer the cyber services along with governance, risk and compliance at the same time. We've been involved with Cyber Essentials since 2016, and we've actually issued over 1,200 certificates since we've started. So I'd like to say we've got good success in this area, and we've supported a number of organizations with both Cyber Essentials and Cyber Essentials Plus. And the team of people that work at URM, they really enjoy what they do, so they put a lot of passion into all of the projects. Um, I'll just hand over to Andre, who will be able to give you a bit more information about him. Thanks, Lauren. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Andre, um, and I'll be talking to you about Cyber Essentials and Cyber Essentials Plus. Um, I've been involved with Cyber Essentials since 2017. Um, it's sort of like the genesis of the scheme itself, because the scheme was founded in 2016. Um, cyber security I'm a cybersecurity consultant, so I'm going to try to... Um, to, to use that knowledge from my past to sort of convey that that information about Cyber Central, Cyber Central Plus to you, and um, I'm also Cyber Central's and Cyber Central Plus assessor as well. So that will sort of make it easy for me to sort of give you that um, crucial hint and tip that will make you pass. Excellent. Thanks, Andre. So if we dive in first of all, as what is Cyber Essentials? Yeah, so a little bit of background on Cyber Essentials. Um, uh, an organization called uh, CESG introduced 10 steps to cybersecurity in 2012. Um, that was more of a, it wasn't an exact science. There were a lot of questions around, uh, around the controls and, and, and it wasn't too clear. And then in 2014, CE scheme launched. Um, and that, that was sort of the first step in the cyberspace journey. Um, it was control based, um, you know, you, you need some evidence and we had some evidence of new attacks um, being brought up every day, every minute, every hour. So, you know, it had to be kept up to date. Um, and then in 2016, NCSC formed and they sort of took, took over the Cyber Central scheme and sort of were the sole owners of the scheme itself. Um, in 2020, uh, five accreditation bodies reduced only to one which is now ASME, and they're sort of the ones creating the questions um, aligned to the guidance by the NCSE. And in 2022, um, scheme, the scheme itself and the prices were updated to reflect the ever-changing cloud world that we're in now. So what is Cyber Essentials? Um, Cyber Essentials is a government-backed scheme. Um, it's a simple yet effective...